Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Sunday, March 19th of 2017. And um, back with another video. I know it's been a couple of weeks, but um, it's really been busy and I haven't really had any ideas for videos. Yes, I still need to do the answers for the FAQ that is still coming. I just haven't really had the time to do something that um, extensive. But take this as a... Um, a um, reasonable placeholder, if you will. Tonight we're going to be looking at um, something kind of neat. Um, you see, one thing I've always had an interest in are old software demo CDs from back in the day. Like I, I remember getting um, CDs like this in the mail um, from like PC Magazine and um, or PC Game Magazine, I I think it was and. Um, and you'd get these CDs from other um, means and whatnot, like it would come with other regular software. And tonight we're going to be looking at one of them. And we're going to be looking at the Microsoft Interactive CD Sampler. Try out 17 trial versions of software with multimedia demos and videos and a full product catalog with information, productivity, games, and kids. Not actual kids, but software for kids. And, <laughs> and a um, free copy of Internet Explorer version 3.0. They were, yeah, Microsoft was really um, pushing um, Internet Explorer 3 back in, at that time. And here's the back of it. Explore the interactive worlds of Microsoft consumer products. Some system requirements here. And shows you how to run this. This dates from, I believe, October of 1996. Trial versions of hot new titles, including the Magic School Bus. Um, I had most of those games. Um, 3D Movie Maker, Hellbender, Close Combat, The Neverhood, Money 97, Gex, Publisher 97, Monster Truck Madness, Expedia, and Creative Writer 2. And we are going to um, load this up on my Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT. get it out of the <laughs> sleeve. I got this off of um, eBay several years ago. Played with it around played around with it a few little few times here and there over the years. But I um, never really got around to making a video about it. But um, here's what the CD itself looks like. I can't remember if I had this back then or not. I may have, I may not have, but I used to mess with similar um, CDs like this before. Go ahead and pop it in the CD-ROM. By the way, my sleeper's back. There it is right there. And we're going to switch to my um, to my capture card and um, take a closer look at it.
Welcome to the interactive CD sampler from Microsoft. Where do you want to go today? The possibilities are practically unlimited when you choose any of these destinations. All right, we're at the um, main menu now. Um, it was a cool little intro. Um, I like that music. Okay, it's been a while since I've used this CD, but um, so I get so I need to familiarize myself again with how this um, works. We got um, looks like five different categories. We've got the got productivity, games, kids, online, and hall of knowledge and culture. Obviously, not my bedroom. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll start with. Um, productivity Microsoft makes it easy for you to work organize create and manage check out picture it greetings workshop auto map streets plus and publisher and see for yourself or click on the catalog option to learn about other helpful and easy to use Microsoft products okay now um, we're not going to go through every single detail of this CD because we would be here all night I'm just going to show off some of the more interesting um, items. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, Microsoft Publisher version 97. Now we can install um, a trial or we can watch a video about it. And there's the, um, the box for it. Yeah, this was Again, I believe from October of um, 1996, Office um, 97 um, had not come out just yet. It wouldn't come out until December of 96, so um, people were still on Office 95 at that point. I don't know why anyone would, would, would have cared to know about that, but um, I'm just weird. So we'll take a quick look at this demo. Hope it doesn't last 45 minutes. Uh, you can tell this is a Macromedia production when the windows colors change. Sometimes a great notion isn't great until it can be shared. Introducing Microsoft Publisher 97, the program that helps you easily create brochures, newsletters, flyers, websites, and much more. Customize and publish your documents with results so impressive that people will think you hired a professional. In Publisher 97, project creation always begins here with the Page Wizard Design Assistance. Suppose you want to create a brochure. Click here and answer a few simple questions about how you envision your finished piece. Page Wizard will need to know such things as layout style, fold, and the amount of text and pictures you plan to use in your document. Once you've created your layout, now you add your own text and graphics. Illustrate your layouts by choosing from more than 5,000 clip art images, more than 150 digital photographs, or your own scanned images, all of which can be modified to suit your exact needs. Then compose your text directly in Publisher, import it from your word processor, or write and edit your text using the Word Story Editor in Microsoft Word. Use the sophisticated design tools included in Publisher 97 to add impact to your document and speed up your design process. Once you get your desired results, you'll want to publish your piece. Depending on how many copies you require, you can output the document at home, in the office, at any quick printer or service bureau. Do you want a worldwide audience? No problem. Microsoft Publisher 97 now allows you to publish to the World Wide Web. You won't have to count on a designer to correctly interpret your vision. Save time and money and get the professional quality results you're looking for with Microsoft Publisher 97. Sometimes a great notion isn't great until it can be shared. Introducing Microsoft Publisher 97, yeah, I think it's a program that helps now. you easily create brochures, newsletters. So Thank you for shutting up. I greatly appreciate that. Sometimes a great notion isn't great until it can... Uh, 
Okay, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. The CD Deluxe version now contains over 5,000 pieces of clip art, over 150 you know fonts, what? You've lost my and interest. A... Goodbye. Hmm, 79.95. I'm surprised it didn't cost more. Alright, we'll head on to another product. Uh, what do you want to look at, folks? Um, how about Microsoft Greetings Workshop? I don't know why my task force is still slightly green. St. Patrick's Day was two days ago. What's this? Something Mom brought home. Wow. Cool. So easy. Let's see what else we can do. Your mom's gonna love this. Great, we can use our own photographs. Why don't my friends see this? This is pretty cool. Wow. No wonder mom bought it. We can make so many things. Certificates and awards, announcements, banners, cards, invitations, calendars, signs and flyers with Greetings Workshop. So that was uh, Microsoft Greetings Workshop. Um, what, I, what I found interesting about that program was it looked like it had a very Microsoft Bob-esque interface to it, especially with that little cartoon dog. So yeah, um, uh, we can take a quick look at um, the Microsoft Natural, or as I like to call it, the unnatural keyboard. Anytime now. The natural keyboard. They say it's ergonomically designed, but I just call it responsible design. The bottom line is, I type more comfortably. Plus, I get simpler, faster control of windows from the keyboard with IntelliType software and special function keys just for windows. Adapting to the keyboard was easy. I felt at home in just a couple hours. I bought the natural keyboard for my computer at work, and everyone wanted to try it. Now most people in the office have one. People like it because it's more comfortable. The split key sloped keyboard, it more naturally positions your hands, wrists, and shoulders. It may look odd, but it really feels good. I like the wrist leveler and built-in palm rest. They give me just the right wrist angle, so I type with a more relaxed posture. And in my job, I can use all the relaxation I can get. The keys have the perfect combination of responsiveness and resistance. This keyboard shows careful, thoughtful design all the way through. Thoughtful and clever. The keys marked with the Windows logo make Windows functions easier to access, and IntelliType software makes them easier to operate. With IntelliType Manager, I can control all the keyboard features from one place, and I can launch applications or documents, 
find misplaced files, connect to network servers, select menu items, or arrange the windows on my desktop with special keys and simple keystrokes. Hey, it was Microsoft that made my software more user-friendly. It makes sense that they'd also make my keyboard user-friendly. Yeah, a lot of people um, do enjoy using the Microsoft Natural Keyboard. In fact, they've they've got a a um, somewhat reworked version of it for the um, Microsoft Surface, but um, it's just never really been my style. But um, for those who like it, um, all the best to you. Okay, I think I clicked the wrong button. Yeah, this takes you to a um, interface similar to that of the Microsoft Exposition, which I may, I think I've done a video about, but that was years ago. Oh yeah, that was, that was the button I needed. Alright, we can check out the games area. Escape the everyday doldrums of work, work, work. Try your hand at Deadly Tide or Hellbender. Play Pac-Man or catch the action in Monster Truck Madness. Click on the catalog option to learn about other exciting Microsoft games. All right, let's take a look at my favorite, um, one of my favorite childhood games that has a demo on the CD, Monster Truck Madness. I remember getting this, um, at a um, software store at Four Seasons Town Center back in 1996. Okay, um, I don't want. I thought this was just a. I thought that was just going to be a video, but apparently I wanted to install the full trial. But as you can see, I've. Um, I've already got the full version installed. <laughs> so, um, let's take a look at um, Gex. Uh, that wants to install a demo as well. Um, Flight Simulator? Fasten your seatbelt and prepare for takeoff with Microsoft Flight Simulator for Windows 95, the latest version of the most popular entertainment title ever produced for the personal computer. Taking off has never been easier thanks to a simple point-and-click Windows interface. Want to earn your wings? A comprehensive multimedia help system brings aviation down to earth. Flight Simulator for Windows 95 puts you in the most realistic airplanes available on a PC, including a new Boeing 737 airliner and the sporty Extra 300. London, Paris, New York. Just point and click to select an exotic destination with stunning new scenery. Looking for fun? Flight Simulator for Windows 95 delivers. Loop and roll in the extra, or pick from dozens of challenges to test your skill. From aerobatics to airliners, you're in the pilot seat with Microsoft Flight Simulator, as real as it gets. You know, the Microsoft Flight Simulator games, I never really got into. Um, I did tr um, get a copy of Flight Simulator 2002 back in... I guess 2002, and I d it was just um, a little too engrossing for my um, tiny mind. So, um, yeah, let's um, head back to the main menu again and check out the kids' world. Um, there's, there's probably a lot of titles on here that I had as a kid. Create your own action-packed movie with a free trial version of 3D Movie Maker. Climb aboard the magic school bus to experience four different adventures. Or learn about Easy Ball, a special tool that'll make your computer more friendly for kids. Click on the catalog option to learn about other exciting Microsoft products for kids. All right, we got to take a look at the magic school bus here because um, I adored 
the Magic School Bus um, TV series and books as a kid, so I also had a bunch of their um, computer games that Microsoft put out. And um, my first one and my favorite was Magic School Bus Explores the Human Body. brings back memories but come with us aboard the bus and search for treasure underneath the ocean just click here i had all of these games listed except for um for an out of this world adventure click now to explore the solar system yeah i've had all of these i i had all these games as a kid except for the solar system one i always wanted it but never got it for some reason for a groundbreaking, fun-making, earth-shaking adventure, click here to explore inside the Earth. Get ready to drive the bus on an unforgettable field trip to explore inside the human body. My favorite one. Oh, Miss Frizzle has nothing to say about dinosaurs. She must be racist against them. That's um, kind of depressing. But unfortunately, I really do not feel safe showing um, any of these um, videos here because um, Magic School Bus is owned by Scholastics, and Scholastics has been um, notorious for taking down um, their content from YouTube. And as much as I would love to show some of these old um, Magic School Bus games since they were a big part of my childhood, it's just not worth the risk, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. And even showing that was probably a little bit risky. Uh, let's see. Um, Microsoft Easy Ball. I like the easy ball because it's my own mouth. Correction. He loves the easy ball. The friendly, comfortable design makes cursor control easy. So he's building confidence at the computer right from the start. It's really giving him a head start in computing. I can do it all by myself. One of the big advantages of easy ball is that it remains stationary, so he never runs out of room to maneuver it on the table. I like to hold it in my lap. Yep, he can do that too. Easy ball's my new friend. The large size ball, besides being fun and tough enough for kids, is perfect because it requires less coordination to move and to click, so it's easier for him. It makes the computer more accessible. And the single button design makes it easier too. There's no confusion about which button to push. I can just leave him to play with his friends and they do fine. Or sometimes we play together. We can connect my mouse and the easy ball at the same time. Look mommy, I can make my bunny rabbit hop. He can always tell which cursor belongs to him, because he chose his own playing the Pointer Land game. Easy Ball is the perfect mouse for smart little hands. Never had one of those, um, probably because I, when that came around I was probably a little bit too old um, to really use that. Um, when I first started using a computer back in 1995 I used a real mouse because I was a real man and I and I was tough even though as a kid I was known to get locked into bookcases true story but I'm leaving it at that and we'll take a look at the creative writer uh, that's just a trial not a video I'd show the Nickelodeon movie maker but um Viacom will um, cut my head off. Seriously, they will too. They um, they have been known to behead people. Uh, so let's head to another category.
Hall of Knowledge and Turn your quest culture. for knowledge into an adventure with Encarta Encyclopedia, Encarta World Atlas, AutoMap Streets Plus, AutoMap Trip Planner, or Bookshelf. Click on Catalog to see more products to expand your world of information and culture. Okay, we can, um, well, might as well take a look at Encarta. Encarta 97, that is. Discovery clears the tower. To engage, what does it mean? To come together, to launch into, to involve, entertain, captivate, fascinate. For millions of people around the world, the award-winning Encarta Encyclopedia makes learning more engaging. And now, Encarta 97 Encyclopedia is more comprehensive and compelling than ever before. Featuring more than 100 videos and animations, more than 950 maps, over nine and a half hours of high quality digitally recorded sound, and over 8,000 photographs and Fish. illustrations. All the rich media in Encarta 97 Encyclopedia is tightly linked to over 30,000 articles to let you experience information and help broaden your interests. Encarta 97 Encyclopedia offers engaging information. More than 300,000 links to related articles, suggested reading, and worldwide websites. Seamless integration with the Internet provides a direct connection to a world of information beyond the CD-ROM. Links can be upgraded to as many as 5,000, and links can be updated every month to ensure you have the most current information. Encarta Yearbook allows you to download as many as 50 new Encarta articles each month and integrate them with the CD content so your encyclopedia information continues to remain fresh. Students will make Encarta 97 Encyclopedia the first stop for any school project because Encarta helps students make effective use of the information they find. Simply copy and paste text and images into a word processor or presentation software. Plagiarism. Plus, a complete 65,000 word dictionary is always available. But the world of Encarta Encyclopedia doesn't stop there. It also includes an atlas, timeline, interactive learning activities, and a trivia game to help encourage curiosity and knowledge. And for the first time, Encarta is introducing a deluxe edition with double the media to fill two CD-ROMs. For example, multimedia collages offer visual maps of 20 different topics and let users browse and jump to Encarta articles, media, and related web content. Encarta 97 Encyclopedia Deluxe Edition includes an additional 6,000 images, 35 more videos, and over 300 new sound clips. 360-degree views allows users to see an expansive, panoramic view of spectacular scenes, such as the Grand Canyon or the Colosseum in Rome. With the wealth of information it provides, it's no wonder that Encarta Encyclopedia is the best-selling encyclopedia in the world. So make Encarta 97 Encyclopedia the first place you go to find out what you need to know. 
Yep, uh, that, that was Microsoft Encarta. That's what we used um, to do research back before Wikipedia was around. And, um, and that's all there really is to show in that section that I think would be interesting for this video. I guess we can take a look at the online transporter, but I have this sneaking suspicion that it'll probably try to take us online to websites that haven't been around since the Clinton administration. But we'll do it again because I'm a glutton for punishment. Awed by the prospect of a vast and unfamiliar online world, let Microsoft and the Internet Explorer be your guide. Climb aboard the online transporter now. Oh, if you say so. Well, we can take a look at Internet Exploder. And it's going to want to install it, and we don't want to do that. Uh, how about MSN? Welcome to the Microsoft Network, the quick and easy Microsoft way to get up and running on the Internet. MSN delivers fast and easy access to information, services, and entertainment you can really use. Just call 1-800-FREE-MSN and you'll receive a full month of unlimited access to MSN and the Internet for free. Keep in touch with your friends and colleagues online with your own email account. Shop for the best deals in travel and accommodations with exclusive MSN services. And if you ever need help along the way, our world-class customer service is always at your fingertips. The Microsoft Network, a terrific array of essential services and entertainment designed to be useful and fun for Internet beginners and experts alike. From the latest news to new cars, from trivia to travel, from search engines to software, and from haute couture to hilarious games, we've got it all. So call 1-800-FREE-MSN to receive a full month of unlimited access to MSN and the Internet for free. Then just pay as little as $6.95 a month for the best in services, entertainment, and value online. It's the Microsoft Network. Why go online with anyone else? The Microsoft Network. You're on. The only time I ever used MSN was in the early 2000s when you could get a free account with them when you installed Windows XP with the um, MSN Explorer. Remember that? So yeah, I think that's about all I want to show there. Um, that's all the categories, I do believe. But I wonder what this accessories button is. Oh, just um, boring stuff, it looks like. Uh, system requirements. Uh, oh! I just remember there was something in the game section I wanted to show. That reminded me of something, um, something we missed. This right here, Microsoft Sidewinder. And I want us to take a look at the Sidewinder 3D Pro because um, I, I had one of those, um, as you know, as a kid, and I still own about two of them. I've gathered over the years. In fact, I have one connected to this computer right now. So let's take a look at my favorite joystick. My dad says I'm a hardcore gamer, and yeah, I play a lot, but I still get my homework done. The Sidewinder 3D Pro is the most advanced joystick on the market. It incorporates digital optical technology for 
precision, speed, and invincible gameplay. Digital optical technology? Yeah, that means no recalibration. Plus, in Windows 95, you get no drift and twice the responsiveness with digital overdrive. And check out this rotating handle. It's awesome maneuverability. If you want the newest, hippest technology, you want the Sidewinder 3D Pro. Ordinary joysticks do the mechanical thing with piles of parts. But the Sidewinder 3D Pro is totally digital. It's as precise as a single beam of light. Forget about analog drift. Recalibration is history. The Sidewinder 3D Pro is fully compatible with Thrustmaster and CH Flight Stick when played with MS-DOS games. If you want the newest, hippest technology, you want Sidewinder 3D Pro. And four extra buttons for extra control mean more free, uninterrupted gameplay. The Sidewinder 3D Pro is the ultimate tool for serious game players. Yep, it's um, a good joystick, all right. I've owned several of them over the years, and um, it's my go-to um, for um, older Windows 95 era computers. So yeah, um, I do believe that's about all I feel like showing in this video. Um, again, I would show all of it, but we would be here um, all night looking at all this stuff. But this really does um, take me back to a day, um, I, know, I know I always talk about this, but it takes me back to when um, computers were still um, an exciting new frontier, especially um, software. Um, I mean, all this stuff we saw um, just now, um, I remember seeing at my local CompUSA all the time, and other similar stores. And there was just nothing um, more exciting back then than to um, get a new piece of software to bring home. I've, t I've told the story before, but one of my favorite memories um, of my early computer days was in the spring of 1996. We had only had this um, Packard Bell for um, a few months at, the, at that point, but um, I still remember my dad picking me up from school one afternoon and um, reaching over and um, handing me a um, brand new copy of Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise, which wound up being one of my favorite games of all time, and I still have that very same CD to this day. In fact, I was playing with it last night, and um, yeah, it, it really was an exciting time. Um, of course, nowadays, computers are just so disposable, um, where it's just like, huh, eh, got a new computer, yay. <laughs> or something like that. Sorry about the popping there, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this um, pretty interesting um, video. Uh, more content will hopefully soon follow. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The addresses are located in the bottom right corner. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.